Did you see the Earth people? Welcome to another episode of AI Late to Class. Well, I finally got OV working within Comp for UI with the FP8 model. So if you don't know what OV is, it's like having Sora 2 or VO3 where you can do text or image to video, but with text to audio like vocals and sound effects and text to background music all in one prompt. Now you've got to remember with text to vocal and text to background music, even with the same seed, you're going to get variation. So it can only be used for one-off clips like Veo and Sora are used for. This isn't a big workflow, but there is a couple models to download. So let's get into it. On the OV website, we'll just watch a bit of this preview clip. It's time to revenge. Send the boys. They are launching GPT-9. The war between AI and human has started. No one is safe. War started. Human stands no chance. There's many other samples on the OV website. I'm not going to go through them. The link will be in the comments. If you don't have a computer that's good enough to run OV, you can come over here to the Hugging Face space and type your prompt, put in your image, and talk about the sort of vocal and the background music. Press action simple. There's some samples there that you can click. Once we've dragged our workflow in, Starting on our first node, we've got the OV model there and the engine loader. The next node contains our WAN 2.2 VAE and our text encoder. The next node's just our Sage intention, and that goes into our sampler or video generator. This is where things are easy. If we just want text to video, we just write our prompt here of what we want to happen. We write what words we want the person to say in here with the start tag with the S and the end with an E there. And then with this audio cap, we're just writing our background music or sound effect there. And we just press run, right? If we want it to be a start image, so we make the image elsewhere, we just connect this image here and press run. Now there's no speed up laws, so notice my settings here. I've got my sampling steps at 25, and here's my CFG at 4, which would normally be 1. The default on the sampling steps is 50. I lowered this down to 25 because I wanted to test this out on my machine. I'll probably try 50 later on. I'm quite happy with the result at 25. I did lower my resolution at 512, 512, because this is a 16 gigabyte VRAM, and I don't know if it'll go much further yet. I haven't tried. But there's not much to this once it's done. Here's that. You know where will you I drop? Do you know where will you? So it didn't say what I wanted because all I said is, do you know who you are? So that one didn't do exactly what I wanted, but it did produce a good quality uh, image there. Now we can't do longer than five second clips, but it is 24 frames per second. Here's a text to video version. In this caption here, I said, Did you subscribe? So that's what I wanted to say. It's got a man drinking coffee in a cafe, he speaks. And then in the audio cap, or background cafe sounds, background music. So let's have a. Did you subscribe? A man drinking coffee in a cafe. Did you... So yeah, I didn't ask him to say a man drinking coffee in the cafe, but it said that anyway. Thought I'd try a cartoon, so in the dialogue here I've written, where can I find some ice around here? Underneath I've got a 1980s style cartoon of a polar bear walking. He speaks in the audio cap I've written, background atmosphere. Where can I find some ice around here? So you might not hear it at your end very well, but it does sound like he's walking on ice, the shuffling of his feet, and then he doesn't start talking until he's stopped. So it's perfect timing on the lip sync there. So to run this in Confi UI, you need to go to this GitHub page. I'll have this link in the comments. This is Confi UI dash OV node. I came over here, went code, and then copied that and went into my Confi UI nodes folder in Confi UI. I git cloned it in there as you normally do. When I started up Confi UI, it didn't actually show up. It had all the red lines around my uh, nodes and then but I just went into the manager and clicked installed missing nodes and there it did it now to get the OV model you need to come over to this website here 
and download this 11.7 gig file. Note the name here, model FP8. We're going to rename that. So when you come into Conf UI and in the engine loader, you need to rename it to OV. Have that middle dash like that, 11B dash fp8 dot safe tensor looking back at the github page here we need to scroll down and as i said i'm using a 16 gig vram so i'm using that text encoder and underneath i'm using the wan 2.2 vae but we've got our structure here i've just shown you the ov 11b where you put that in the diffusion models in your models folder in conf vi and underneath that you have your text encoders in the text encoders folder and your VAE in the VAE folder but now we need to go into the custom nodes folder now my custom nodes folder is on another drive which is separate from my models folder so yours might be in the same as your conf UI but anyway have a look for your custom nodes folder inside that you should have the conf UI OV which is this node that we've just installed but inside that we need to make a new folder called ckpts which is checkpoints inside that folder we need to make a new folder called mm audio and inside that folder we need to have one called ext underscore weights right so there's three folders that you need to make now you need to go to this website here and download this one here and this one here as you can see i've got them in my checkpoints mm audio x weights all right i've got the best net g point and the v1-16 path just come over here click download and download type your prompt and press run and you should have something like this list closely it's calling if you've used sora 2 before you'll notice this prompt crafting is in the style of sora so you can go out there and have a look at Sora prompts and try them in here with the start and end tag and then your prompt and then your audio cap. Anyway, that's enough for me. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.